tell me it's not giving length and natural like is this my hair or is it not if you guys want to see how i achieve this look keep on watching hey guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new here don't be a stranger and like and subscribe if you want to see more i was sent some clip-ins from gogo -Go hair extension i received one pack of their 18 inch clip-ins it is 160 grams and it comes in a small box with their logo a little pink and white design on it it was so pretty this is their clip-ins in 1b they provide you with an information card on how to care for the clip-ins and all of that i received two four clip clip-ins two three clips i received two two clips and four four clips so this is all that came in one pack of clip-ins so my hair right now is relaxed and this is my hair length my hair length is about shoulder length so i got an 18 inch because i really just wanted to add some length to my hair my hair is not fairly thin so i think we should be good so first i started off by parting out a section of my hair and i started with my three clip clip-ins why i did that because my hair the back of my hair is not as wide as the top so i started off with the three clips and i made sure enough hair was left out to cover those clippings just in case i want a ponytail because with me when i wear clippings it has to be versatile so i then went in with the other three clip clippings so i just feel for the middle and line the middle clip up with the middle of my hair and then secure the two ends don't mind the parting i can't see the back of my head I was just feeling and just making it work i was in a bit of a hurry so this was really quick and easy after i added the second three clips i parted out the front because i was going for a center part look and i separated that with two braids once i separated it with two braids i started on the middle of my head that's where i'm going to begin with adding the four clips so as you can see I just free parted it with my finger and it, clip ins are not technical you just have to clip it in in your head it doesn't have to be a straight line you just have to secure it to your hair so my hair was i had a little new growth so i had something to clip it to i don't clip it as too close to the root because it can be tight but i just leave I, my hair is pretty long so i just needed like a little length to give it like a layered look once i if i wear it straight or curly so i just use the one clip clippings at the front i parted out two parts and added one each so i added one above the ear i left out enough here just in case i want a ponytail and then i added one closer to the center part I didn't put it towards my forehead because I don't want my clips to be showing when I do a slip, a slip back ponytail or half up, half down or something. As you can see, it is fully covered. You're not seeing my clippings right now, even though my hair is not flat ironed or anything. I repeated that same step on the other side. As you can see better, I parted out enough to cover the clipping if I wanted to do a high ponytail. And I put it, I didn't put it towards the front of my head where, where my forehead i placed it closer to the back so my clippings don't show that's pretty much it once i did that i made sure everything wasn't showing at the back and at the front 
and we were good to go nothing showing at the back if i did a high pony and this is my hair you know with some baby hairs and a little flat iron i really didn't flat iron it as much because i didn't want a lot of heat on my hair but this is my hair in the best state possible right now because i have a lot of new growth but look how full this look this is given natural this is given blowed out silk press it blends with my hair really well nobody can tell me it's not my hair it gave me a little length and this is it straight i wear a word curly as well i can add pictures but you guys have to try gogo -Go hair extensions and don't forget to like comment and subscribe